welcome back to Cindy's Library. I am Cindy and today I want to discuss uh, my favorite new find as far as Christmas stories go from this season and that is Christmas Bells by Jennifer Schiaverini. Not sure I'm saying that right but I greatly enjoyed it and I'm so happy that I read it. So what is it about? That is the question. Well, there's basically, the book is basically divided into two parts uh, that alternate chapters. The first part is in the present day, focusing on a group of characters uh, who in one way or another are involved with the children's Christmas concert that they're getting ready. And of course, one of the songs that they are preparing is I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day by Henry Wadesworth Longfellow. And of course, it is set in Boston too, which is where Longfellow's stomping grounds were, at least when he was in the country. He did a fair amount of traveling at some periods of his life. The second part of the book is a fictionalization, but heavily historically researched, of how Henry Wadesworth Longfellow came to write I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day. It starts with the Christmas before the Civil War starts, and intentions were running high, and then it goes for several Christmases more. And some of the same themes that you find in the Longfellow chapters, you find in the other chapters. So the Longfellow chapters were very fun. I quite enjoyed them. He's an interesting person. There's a few of his poems that I grew up loving, including um, Paul Revere's Ride. And of course, um, I heard the bells on Christmas Day as well. But if anything, I would say it's the modern time story that is, uh, that was the one that really got me. You have the music teacher who leads this children's choir. You have the accompanist who, you know, and you have the choir boy and the choir girl and the mother and the widow and the priest and the nun. And all of their lives touch and influence each other's. And all of them, except I think the nun, she's a great character. Uh, she talks to herself and she's not afraid of interjecting herself and saying comments that make you think or realize something. And in any case, each of the characters, except for the nun, has a mildly serious to very serious issue that they are dealing with. And somehow, by being connected with each other, they are able to help each other find solutions to problems, or if they don't find solutions, find resolutions and peace, start going in the right direction in their life. It's such a wonderful little community. I would not mind sitting down and having lunch with Probably all of them, actually. And it not only goes into that. Um, in many cases, although to be fair, not necessarily all, we know, well, I guess in all of the cases, though to a greater or lesser extent, sometimes it's just a little bit, sometimes it's a greater bit, in the person's chapter, we not only see where they are in the present day, where they are all together, and what they're actually thinking and doing, etc., but we also learn 
the things about their past that explain how they got to that point. So, for instance, in the case of the choir boy, uh, don't think we go much farther back than the past year or so. In the case of the widow, of course, we are talking about 40, maybe even approaching 50 years that she goes over thinking about her life and what's led her to this point. And I don't want to spoil anything, so I won't say anything about the ending besides to say that I very much enjoy it, enjoyed it, and all the threads are tied together at the end, shall we say. So if you are looking for a Christmas book to put on your list for next year, I can highly recommend Christmas Bells by Jennifer Schiaverini. And yeah, it was really a very heartwarming book to me. It's an example of what a community should be looking out for each other and helping each other and being willing to mourn with each other if necessary. And so that's all I have for this time. Uh, if you enjoyed this, if you have your own comments because you have read this book, I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. Feel free to leave comments. Thank you for watching, and as always, until next time, I hope you all stay safe and healthy, and happy reading!